Hi, my name is Lynn and I'm from Pitman Training and I'm here to teach you how you can use your keyboard effectively both at home and at work. Today we are going to show you how you can use your keyboard instead of your mouse, which is very useful if your mouse stops working. If you want to display the help file for the current program you have on screen, but your mouse isn't working, you simply press the F1 key at the top of the keyboard. This will display the help file for the program. In order to close the open dialog box, you would simply press Alt plus F4. Suppose you wanted to activate a menu using the keyboard. How would you do this? Well, the Alt key comes into play here as well. Press and hold down the Alt key and then press the first letter of the menu. For instance, if you press the Alt and the F key, you will access the Office menu or File menu as it is known in some programs. You will now see letters appear for different actions and again, rather than using your mouse, you can simply press that letter. Press the letter O now and you will access the open dialog box. If you now press the escape key, another important shortcut to remember using the keyboard is to access the desktop and you do this by pressing the Windows key which is located at the bottom left of your keyboard with the letter D. You will now see the desktop on screen. To return to the program you are working on, press Windows key and D again to return to your program. Another very useful shortcut to remember when you have multiple programs open at the same time is Alt and Tab. If you press and hold down the Alt key and press the Tab key which is located above the caps lock on the left of your keyboard, you will move from one open program to another. Press it again to move back. There are many different shortcuts you can learn using a computer keyboard but the most time-saving of these is learning to type correctly. You can learn to type at a Pitman Training Centre near you 